Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that like button on this video on every video. Let it fly. So just to recap, the bio marker is a device that will show the status of my infection. So we need that, right, in order to keep going. But no, you wanted something else. Higher fucking causes. And you could just cook. Where can I risk? Ask about bio, ask about inhibitors. So let's ask about the bio. Biomarkers. Why are they so hard to get? Because they're complicated devices. Hell, the factories that made them have been out of commission for years. Biomarkers are key to blood. They can't be reused after someone sinks with it. Without them, the infection runs unchecked. Like what's happened to you. That's why people pay a fortune to get a new one. All the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. Very interesting. So now, let's ask about this. Inhibitors. What's wrong with Hakon giving me inhibitors? Kills most people in seconds. It's a powerful drug. Most can't handle it. But I survived. I said most. So don't get excited. Just be careful with them. Interesting. Okay. You and Hakon, you known each other long? Too long. What did he mean when he said that you used to help people? We served together in a special... Ah, uh, doesn't matter, ancient history. Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I need to get to the fisheye. And Hakon's help when you get there? You seem like a good kid, but take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway. And I know I can trust this guy because I don't have anything that he can take. He doesn't know that I have that key, right? He has no idea. So we'll go ahead and wait till the morning. Funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. So let's do it. We gotta go to the hospital to get one of those biomarkers. We need that. Night exploration. At night, the city streets are teeming with infected. To stay safe, use the rooftops to travel. When on the street level, avoid howlers at all costs. If they see you, they will alert other infected and start a chase. So a howler looks like that. Looks like it's got, it's got a symbol above its head. So maybe it's going to tell us who the howlers are. Very interesting. During a chase, be on the lookout for hiding spots on the rooftops or hide within beams of uv light so hiding spots so you can hide in the grass and they can't see you in the grass really and look for uv lights keep to the roofs because if the howlers spot you yeah i know don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon yeah we don't want to have to do that again oh wait oh we're jumping once i was taking my second wife to the hospital never drove that fast in my life her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Jump towards the monkey bars. To grab it. Push forward to traverse. 
And it looks like that's a hiding spot. So it's going to it's going to light up like that when you need to hide. Very interesting. So see, we got to learn all this because if we do get into a chase, we got to be fast with it. So all you got to do just run, bam. And hop right in here. But the funny thing is, will they be able to see you? Because see, right now, I guess it says that you can't be seen, right? That's what that means. You can't be seen. But if you're running and they see you jump into this, right? And there it is. We got to drop down there. So we're going to have to land on the Chris Smooth mattress. On the Chris Smooth dumpster. And here we go. I made it. The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. Oh yeah, so look, there goes a howler right there. So we need to get in through this bus. I'm guessing I can just... Ooh, I took damage. And here we go. Can I jump through here? I cannot. Why can I not get go through there? It kind of looks like, right, you just slip through? I guess not. So let's see. Oh, we just open this right here. I was going to say, right, because it looks like that window. I'd fit through that window. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. And here we go. Hey, this way. Big building, huh? GRE to go over quite a few of these for drug research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. So it looks like we gotta climb. So what is all that, that bright stuff? That looks crazy. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. That does not look good. Hey. Swoop around the back of the back. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? <laughs> Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lock picks out of that. Got that lock pick cheese, so we if we go into the crafting menu. Lock picking. Use lock picks to open lock doors in containers. So that's gonna be fun picking locks. So we'll take some more scraps and now we're gonna give it a shot. This says easy. Okay, so we have no idea. Oh yeah, this feels exactly like what game was that? Thief or something? Um, you didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. That was easy work, but that was an easy lock, though. All right, make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Can you get all that? We need all the scraps we can get. Oh, we got red. That's down there. But we're just constantly climbing. And what is that stuff? We don't know yet. We don't know what that is. Climb up through the top. Like so. And before we do... Oh, that's a hiding spot. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and collect all this stuff. Oh, I almost... Hey! Let me have that. Take those rags like a boss. And there we go. Remember, I, now I got to know, just hold it until you climb up top because he will put his hands up there, even though you don't want to use that. Uh, fuck. You need some help with this cheese? Oh, some help? 
Into the hospital dark zone. Uh oh. Is this a flashback? Why am I hearing kids? Your facility, where well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these, these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. There was a the guy here named Waltz. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory, like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. This man had three wives. That's tough. He didn't learn his lesson. After the first two, he said, let me try it one more time. Splash. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. Let's make sure we steal whatever we can before we get up out of here. Can we go in there? I guess not. Let us out. Go ahead and take whatever's in here. Why not? Oh, look at that. They want us to go downstairs. Nothing in here. Oh, actually, no, wait, we got something. We're searching the trash. That's tough. This is hilarious. Sleeping beauties. I like how they say that. Are they going to let me move or what? Senses of sleeping are limited. Pass around them to keep. All right, we're going to keep crouched. They already had me crouched. Use your survival sense. Ooh, they're everywhere. Oh, damn. We can't be seen here, though. We're good. We're good. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait a second. Wait, what? Can we crawl through here? Yes, we can. Oh. That's tough. I don't know if we can make it through there, right? Is there anywhere to climb? 
We can't we can't pull a splinter cell. Oh, we can go left. We can go left. Ooh, I just pulled that out by accident. I didn't even press a button and that happened. Woo, sleeping beauties. Can we go under here? I hope we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We can't be seen. We're taking our sweet little time. Sleeping beauties. Don't mind me. I'm just, you know, passing through. We did it. Sleeping beauties. <coughs> what is that? Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So those are chemicals. All that stuff that we see. And what is this? Searching the trash again. Some more scraps. Oh, we could search this. A golden coin. All right, we got zombies down there, so. Ooh, we're making noise. So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. He wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. Working on the vaccine. This is so true to what we're doing, right? It's funny. Because they're saying in this game in 2023 is when it started getting crazy. So we're not in 2023 yet. Hey. So a pretty funny story that they put together here. Perfect timing, huh? All right. Be careful. It's not stable. Yeah, that that I can already tell that's going to be Come a disaster. On. Uh oh. Just go, huh? Go, you're right there. Move, I'm moving. I'm holding up. You're right there. What are you doing? Look at his cheeks. You're two steps away. What is that? Wow. What is that BS? I guess so. Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. You're damn right, cuz. What are we climbing? Are we just gonna climb like this? Hold up one second. Because I tried to go here, that doesn't work. Oh, we gotta climb like this. Nope, that doesn't work. We're gonna climb this? I hate to break. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. Uh-oh. So the GRE access key. Your key is highly sophisticated. Oh, it's a it's a encryption tool that can unlock special doors and chests marked with the GRE logo. Additionally, it can be used to discover hidden inhibitor containers. The key activates automatically when you're close to an inhibitor container, revealing the distance to its location when close to a hidden inhibitor container. 
Hold R3 to use your your sense to highlight it on the map. So yeah, I was wondering, how are we gonna climb all the way up there, cuz? So now we're gonna get into some drama. In the hospital, the hospital is always the worst place when you're dealing with this. Uh oh. We're gonna make hella noise. Oh hell no. We got company. Don't move. You can't handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker. Holy. So we just gotta hide when we see these guys. This was a bad idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna have to fight that thing. I ran off. Try to go around it somehow. Turn on the flashlight. Right, we got a lot of stuff here, but this is not what we need. Find a white and green crate. Make sure we get that out. We'll search this. Hey. The only thing is... Okay, there go some enemies right there. So we're going to have to go all throughout here. We have a hide area. We got some more sleeping beauties. Maybe I can go this way. Can I open up the... Okay, here go some crates. Oh, it's locked from the inside. Look at that. That's too easy, right? That would have been too easy. And let me make sure we can't go this way. No, we can't. All right, so we got to go into the danger. Okay, there goes a hiding spot. So we're going to go ahead and hide right here. So we got one guy kind of walking around. We got some sleeping beauties. So how are we going to get by that guy right there? That's the problem. He's going to mess this up. So he's turning back that way. So maybe I can hide under this. Can I hide under these? No, I cannot. Okay, here's a hiding spot right here. There's a door right there. Should I make a run for the door? Because we don't know what that guy's going to do. We don't know if he's going to turn. We're going to see. He's going to go that way. Yeah, so we're going to skip that door. That's not a door. That's a, a little closet. We're going to go right into here. Taking my sweet little time. Aiden, hurry. If that infected finds you, you're dead. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh-oh. Can we go through here? We can. Or it's locked. Uh oh. Now what? Aiden, the Aiden, quick! This way to the kitchen. We'll eat all the ice cream they hid from us. I'm scared, Mia. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Aiden. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. We're just kicking down the door. Now close the door. Go in there and close it. Don't be a chicken, 80. Or actually, maybe I should leave it open just in case something comes from here, right? And I can run back out. Is that thing alive? Maybe not. Take some antibiotics, right? Why not? Container nearby. Or actually, wait, it was this right here? Let me take all of this. Uh-huh. Inhibitors are the only way to increase your maximum stamina and health. Okay. 
So we need this. Increasing those attributes is important as it unlocks access to some of your skills. Each upgrade requires three inhibitors. If you find them, go to the skills menu to level up your stats. So you got to make it splash with the inhibitors. What's up? I took the inhibitor. Oh, fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. <sighs> We are out here leaning. All right, so I was about to say, when I came through this door, it was crazy, right? I'm like, yo, I've already been here. But we're gonna go back up. Hello? Hack on. So now we should be able to, to make this climb, right? We're gonna go like this, like so. Hack on. Wow, what a jump. What a jump. There's no way I could have done that before, right? We might as well take this before it gets crazy because you already know something's about to go down. So let's just go ahead and take everything real quick. Let's hustle it. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the night fast. Run. Wow. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm turning on the jets. Ooh. We're running for my life. Can I make it? Shot clock cheese. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, it's burning up. I tell you, they were speedy motherfuckers. Oh. Woo! Yeah, yeah. All you can do is look. That was close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? Huh? I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then. What will you do once you find your sister? Don't know yet. We'll settle down somewhere. It's my sister. I'll find some place for us to live. Yeah, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't <laughs> laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? I knew he wanted something. Right, he wanted something. Hey, he's gonna help me. I'll help him, right? Why not? Deal, we'll see. Maybe I should keep it at we'll see. You never wanna just agree. You want him to be on their toes to make sure he's doing his thing. But he got me, right? He got me the marker. So I say, you know what? We'll see. And we'll see. 
For now, I'm a long way from my goal. Until that changes, I can't help you. I understand. Fine. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. So now it's daytime. We got time to do whatever we want. And let me take this. So let's see what he wants to show me. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Nice. Binoculars. Use the binoculars to mark the windmill. So binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations you hold left on the D-pad and you press R3 to use them. So let's take a look like this. So there's the windmill. Okay, and there it is. It says the master windmill was the Magnum. And what is this? Hey! You see the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Okay, so let me see what this one was. Built by the Night Runners, blah, blah, blah. They can provide power to a small settlement. And then this is what he wanted me to look at. Uh-huh. So the Church of the Holy Trinity. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. So now they're about to just let us go out into the open world. So you've unlocked the open world zoom level. And welcome to Villador. You have now unlocked the open world. Your first goal is to visit the survivor's hub. So dark hollows are the best place to find valuables and old world money. Loot them to increase your health. So those two icons, right? It's daytime. We say, oh yeah, there it is. Now that I have this, I can just walk right through. Because remember, we couldn't come here last time. I'm in. What it do, baby? Psst, you. Got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. You're going to pay half a crystal for some water? That's tough. Wait, I could turn off the flashlight. I had the flashlight on the whole time. I wonder if your flashlight... Right? If it actually, you run out of batteries because you're using it too much. That's why we need that solar-powered flashlight cheese. Out of water. Okay, that guy did say he wanted some water, so they, they don't have water in this place. Okay, this place is kind of fly. Look at this. We got a babe looking at us. She's like, who's that new guy? Oh, they got the church music. They've got their own choir. You can make it splash in this game? That's a problem. Hey. Aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to have? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? What's a craft? So we need to know both of these. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. 
So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control but let them produce more milk. I call this invention the electric fence. <laughs> oh man, that's a little rough. So what's your problem? That's a little rough. And that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? And wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. Oh my gosh, we're talking about goats. This is hilarious. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. <laughs> Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. That's a lot of work. That must be a side mission. Yeah, that's a side quest. We ain't got time for that. <laughs> oh, man. Meet the people. Let's see who else wants to meet. Who else is trying to talk? Nobody's talking? Nobody's hollering? What about this guy? The black guy. Hey, he's got to talk to me, right? You don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julie, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Maybe he's a little suspicious. What's your proof? Yeah, we definitely got to ask her what's the proof, but we'll go ahead and get the extra dialogue. I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know, you're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. You got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wow! I would say that's some discrimination cheese, but there was another brother that was accusing him as well. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Maybe this is revenge. Maybe you stored it improperly. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. 
I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. This is some cheese! So we got another side quest. So we got hella side quest out here. That guy, I mean, this makes no sense what's going on over here. But you wonder where all the hey. went, right? That's Pilgrim. The army sees them after the You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Yeah, huh? Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that could be some. So at least he's not making me do any work, right? What about this guy? That's the trade. So meet the people. Who else can we meet? What about you? At the age of 23, I became a priest. Still just a snot-nosed kid. And I was supposed to be a shepherd of souls. I felt I was meant for this. I had answered the call. If God was with me, then who could be against me? I was full of conviction. Faith that I could make the world a better place. But the world <laughs> had other plans. Many times, I performed someone's last rites. I held their hands as they died. And in that last moment, in the millisecond before their last breath, I saw in them relief. Not because they were moving on to some kind of better world to heaven, but because it was the end of something painful. They could finally bow out of the futile and exhausting dance of life. Their chore of living would be over. Their suffering would end. It was something completely incomprehensible to me. How can a person reject the gift of life? To accept death joyfully for a person as strong as me? This was something very disturbing. Or maybe they knew about something that I had not seen? Did they see it in their last moment? This was the first crack in the edifice of my faith. And then, the epidemic started. What the hell is that? Run, buddy, run! Why are you saying what it is? I can't move! Damn! Look at how many of them there are! All I can do is do a crossover! A step back! Oh, we're cheesing! I'm snatching back! Oh, I'm about to die!